like static, we we really chuffed with the result, um, but also very relieved uh, that we that we got it in the bag. I think um, if we hadn't quite achieved that, it would have it would have been a massive blow to SA men's hockey over the next couple of years. You spoke about a college international, team is a college international, it's Yeah. Did you know that going to the tournament itself and the fact that you guys were top seeded did that um, help in your preparations? Yeah, I mean, I think um, the teams we came up against, uh, we, we've beaten sort of before over the last couple of years, we've come up against them. So so the team was comfortable that they, if they played their best hockey, they could win the tournament. Um, but at the same time, I've got to say that Japan, we've vastly improved from when they were here in Joburg in December last year at the Champs Challenge tournament. So they really, they really made us work hard for in that final and in the pool game. So I think um, part of it is that these guys are really, they driven and they're incredibly hungry this group of players so we knew that uh, if we if we applied ourselves and, and played our best hockey as well as wanting it more than the Japanese then uh, we would get the result yeah I was uh, I was pretty composed for most of the game but uh, yeah I think I, I lost the plot a little bit in the end there just trying to make sure that uh, could communicate with the players uh, you know they tactically uh, hockey is quite a uh, quite a, a quick game so so you got to stay on top of things. Um, they pulled off their goalkeeper and they, and they chucked on a kicking back in the last couple of minutes, which changes things. We had chatted about that eventuality, but still um, just making sure that all the details there, the ball travels so quickly in hockey that if you just get one or two, um, it's like playing chess, you know, you just got to have the guys in the right place. If they're just out of place marginally, then 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 it'll come back and bite you on the bum, eh? Yeah, Rassi was a champion. I mean, we've had we've come through a long process with our goal goalkeepers in the last uh, couple of years. Rassi was dropped last year. He didn't go to the Africa qualifier. Um, he really made a massive effort to to get himself back to his best, uh, playing overseas, um, sort of leaving his family back here in South Africa to go and playing a league in in, uh, in Holland. Um, and I'm just really so chuffed for him and for us, obviously, because it, it, it paid dividends for us, but for him as well to have such a great game in the final. Um, yeah, uh, really big big respect for him in that in that regard. Yeah, everybody will be watching us after this, especially. Um, you know, we we've never finished be better than tenth at an Olympic Games. This the men's hockey team. We've we've come close. We've always had talented teams, but the Olympics, everybody takes it up a couple of notches. Not just a you know, no matter how badly you want to do it, you've got now got to overcome everybody else's personal best. So yeah, we know it's going to be tough. Uh, like I said, the players are incredibly ambitious. Um, we've we think we've been drawn in quite a nice pool uh, in that. Um, We've got Great Britain, who were here a couple of months ago, and we, we drew a series with them. They're number four in the world. Um, we play Argentina, uh, and we played Argentina three times last year, and, and we beat them twice, and we lost to them once. Um, and we got Pakistan, who we haven't played since 2010, but we played them at the World Cup, and we beat them, and we played them at the Commonwealth Games, and we beat them. So, quietly confident, but knowing that, again, we have to bring our best, um, nothing better, nothing else will do for the Olympics. Oh,